Thank you uh, for coming to Marysville. Schools have been coming up to Marysville since about 2011 to give you a bit of an insight into what a bushfire means. Marysville was one of Australia's really historic towns. It was approaching 150 years at the time of the fire. It had an awful lot of history. All that history was pretty well wiped out in four hours on 7th of February. Very little was left. There were 430 houses. There was only about 13 left. The town was 95% destroyed. We have here Glenn Fisk. Glenn Fisk was the fire chief on the day of the fire. Thanks, Barry. It's important to know the story of Marysville because it is part of our history um, and, and, and it's that uh, understanding of, of what can happen to people. Emotionally, how have you handled it since the fires? It was hard um, coping with, with it all. Um, and, and watching other people around you that we all fell apart that in our own ways, in, in our own time. The recovery is, is far more protracted and it's far more difficult than, than the actual day itself. To lose everything, it's just so mentally draining. You just can't think ahead for tomorrow even. And probably for the first, couple of months, we were all a bit like that. We we're just zombies. Some people have accepted help. That's the hard thing, getting psychological help, getting people to identify that there is help. In the initial stages, the resources were huge that, that everyone threw at us. We're extremely grateful for. You, you don't need to get pulled apart, you just, yeah, need someone to point you in the right direction, give you some tools to cope with. Time passing has given us time to digest what happened to us, um, to, to put it into perspective. It's part of the fabric of who we are.